Hi everyone! Welcome to Cyanide Video Lesson. Click like, subscribe, and share. Enjoy watching. Mabuhay! Today, we are going to discuss the different types of volcanoes. Volcanoes found in the Philippines. First, Mayon in Albay is the most active volcano in the Philippines. Mayon, also known as Mount Mayon, is an active stratovolcano in the province of Albay in Bicol region. On the island of Luzon in the Philippines, a popular tourist spot, it is renowned for its perfect cone because of its symmetric conical shape and is regarded as sacred in Philippine mythology. Last eruption 2018, elevation 2,463 meters. Another volcano is Taal in Batangas. Taal Volcano is a large caldera filled by Taal Lake in the Philippines. Located in the province of Batangas, the volcano is one of the most active volcanoes in the country with 34 recorded historical eruptions, all of which were concentrated on Volcano Island near the middle of the Al Lake. Last eruption, January 12, 2020. Elevation, 311 meters. Next volcano is Canlaon in Negros Island. Canlaon, officially the Mount Canlaon, is an active stratovolcano and the highest mountain in the island of Negros in the Philippines, as well as the highest point in whole Visayas with an elevation of 2,465 meters above sea level. Mount Canlaon is 42nd highest peak of an island in the world. Last eruption, 2006. Elevation, 2,435 meters. Another volcano is Bulusan in Sorsogon. Mount Bulusan or Bulusan Volcano is the southernmost volcano on Luzon Island in the Republic of the Philippines. It is situated in the province of Sorsogon in the Bicol region. 70 kilometers southeast of Mayon Volcano and approximately 600 kilometers southeast of the Philippine capital of Manila. Last eruption, December 2016, elevation 1,565 meters above sea level. Last example is Mount Pinatubo in Sabales. Mount Pinatubo is an active stratovolcano in the Zambales Mountains, located on the tri-point boundary of the Philippine provinces of Zambales, Tarlac, and Pampanga, all in central Luzon on the northern island of Luzon. Last eruption, June 15, 1991, elevation 1,486 meters. We already have an idea about the different volcanoes found in the Philippines. Now, let us describe volcano. Procedure. Based on the picture, give five descriptions of a volcano. Present your answer in a concept map as shown below. I am giving you 60 seconds to do this. The timer starts now. Time is up.
Now let us see if we have the same answers. Number one, it has crater. Number two, there is a flowing of lava. Number three, has a magma inside. Four, a cone shape. And five is an exploding mountain. Let us define volcano. Volcano has an opening called a crater. As you can see in the picture, the crater is located on its summit. Volcano, it contains magma and other volcanic materials which build up its conical shape. Here is the magma chamber. Can a volcano be described as an exploding mountain? Yes, it is a mountain and it really explodes at times, but it is quite different from the other mountains. Observe the feature. The Philippines is located along the Ring of Fire. As a result, it is a home to many volcanoes. Here is the Philippines. Who could forget the terrible eruption of the Pinatubo volcano in 1992 after 600 years of inactivity? Based on statistics, in the first five years following the eruption, Lahars destroyed the homes of more than 100,000 people. Lahars also covered about 120,000 hectares with sediment to an average depth of about 1 meter, and floods spread rock debris over a larger area. The eruption also affected other countries as its emissions in the atmosphere lowered the air temperature. According to the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, PHEBOX, our country is an ideal site for any volcanic activity. It is therefore important for us to know his natural phenomenon happens to reduce the risk and affects its may cause. Let us study the different parts of volcano. First, crater. Crater is a mount of volcano, surrounds a volcanic vent. Vent. an opening in Earth's surface through which volcanic materials escape. Next, parasitic cone. It is a small cone-shaped volcano formed by accumulation of volcanic debris. Magma chamber. Magma is a molten rock beneath Earth's surface. Next, seal. Seal is a flat piece of rock formed when magma hardens in a crack in a volcano. Next, lava flow. Lava is a molten rock that erupts from a volcano that solidifies as it cools. Next, layers of ash. Ash is a fragments of lava or rock smaller than 2 mm in size that are blasted into the air by volcanic eruptions. And last, ash cloud. Ash cloud is a cloud of ash formed by volcanic explosions. How about the classification of volcanoes? 
volcanoes can be classified as active and inactive. First, what is active volcanoes? Active volcanoes are those that have a record of eruption within the last 600 years or those that erupted 10,000 years ago based on analysis of their materials. Next is inactive volcanoes. Inactive volcanoes are those that have not erupted for the last 10,000 years and their physical form is being changed by agents of weathering and erosion through formation of deep and long galleys. Inactive volcanoes has two classification. First, dormant volcanoes. It shows no signs of activity, have not erupted for a considerable length of time, but there is evidence to suggest that they will never erupt again. There is a chance, however, that a dormant volcano may become active again. Extinct Volcanoes These volcanoes have remained dormant for a great many years and all volcanic activities have ceased. We have three different types of volcanoes. We can classify it through their cone shape. First, a cone formed by alternate layers of lava and cinders is called a composite cone. It is intermediate in steepness between a lava cone and a cinder cone. It is also called stratovolcanoes, example, Mount Mayon. Here is the feature of composite volcano or stratovolcano, or also known as a perfect cone. Shape. Second type of volcano is a cone formed by ashes and other volcanic materials thrown high tends to be steep because the materials harden before they can spread farther down. This results in a base of a small diameter. This type of cone is called a cinder cone. This is the feature of cinder cone volcano. Last is a cone formed by a lava tends to be a gently sloping incline with a relatively large diameter at its base. Lava of the basalt type is so fluid that it flows faster and reaches farther before solidifying and hence the cone has a wider base. Such a cone is called a lava cone or a shield cone. Since non-viscous lava can flow freely, a broad, slightly domed structure that resembles a warrior's shield is formed. An example of this type is the Mauna Loa volcano in Hawaii. Let's have a short quiz. Good luck. Identify the types of volcanoes. Write your answer. For 1 to 8, identify the parts of volcano. Multiple choice. Which of the following is an active volcano in the Philippines? A. Apo in Dabao. B. Buddhatu in Sulu C. Isarog in Camarines Sur or D. Taal in Batangas 2. Why ashes is heavy enough to collapse the roofs of building? A. Because it is solid B. Because it cannot be blown by winds C. Because it becomes heavier as it cools or D, because it consists of tiny fragments of rocks that becomes heavy as it fire up. Last, identify the type of volcano. A, cinder volcano. B, composite volcano. C, 
Phil Volcano or D. Estrato Volcano. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.